Hey, what's up Aquam guys? How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me. Today what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys an update on the pothos in my aquariums. So this right here is my 15 gallon tank and this is the growth that we've seen after seven months. I initially put some pothos clippings in here about seven months ago and as you can see, they have grown a lot. So I'll go ahead and put in some before and after shots so you can see the type of progress that it's made. And if you want to see the initial video where I added this pothos to this aquarium, I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description below. But just as a quick recap, there are pretty much two ways that you can add pothos to your aquarium. One way is to go to the store and buy a pothos plant like I did. This is actually the plant that I bought up here. And this is actually the method that I used. I took some clippings from the plant and I stuck them in the water and they grew roots. This method is also known as propagating your pothos. The other way you can do that is you can take the plant that you buy from the store and you could pretty much take the plant out of the pot and just rinse out all of the dirt so that all you have is the root system and the plant and just stick that whole root system right in the water and that's the other way you can do it. And the advantage to adding pothos to your aquarium is that hopefully the pothos will eat up your nitrates in the tank. If you have a tank and you struggle with high nitrates in that tank, I would recommend trying out some pothos because pothos is a very quick growing plant and it does a pretty good job of sucking up nutrients. Now, if you take the route that I took, which is propagating pothos, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you clip the pothos at a node. These little joint looking things are called nodes and you always want to make sure that you clip below the node because that is where the roots will grow from. If you just clip off one of these stems and cut it like right here to try to propagate it, that won't be able to grow any nodes. And after I took my clippings and added the pothos to my tank, I noticed that roots started growing after about two weeks. Now, one thing that you may have seen other people doing online, and I actually also tried this myself, is I stuck some pothos clippings into my filter and they did grow inside the filter. I actually had two um, and this is them right here. I ended up taking them out of the filter because what I noticed is that they grew much less than the ones that I had outside of the filter. So this one right here, I had outside of the filter just in the tank. This one over here, I also had outside of the filter and just grew it in the tank. And those two plants grew much larger than the ones that I had inside the filter. So I think keeping them inside the filter may stunt their growth. And I think that they may have less of an impact if you put them inside the filter because they won't grow as big. And if they're not growing as big or quickly, they're sucking up less nutrients. So that's why I think it is better to have them outside of the filter. However, having said that, um, some people may not actually like the look of having all these roots in the back of their tank, like I kind of have. As you can see, it is kind of a mess. But honestly, I don't really mind. And actually, if you do have your pothos inside your tank, I have a little tip which I found to be pretty useful. What I did is I got these um, black suction cups and I tied the pothos to the suction cups using thread so that I can stick them securely to the side of the glass and they won't fall over or anything. And then what I did is um, further up on the stem, I created a little hook with some garden wire and I just hook that over the side of the tank. And I've found that this does a pretty good job of holding the plant in place. And let me just show you guys my other tanks really quick where I also have pothos growing. So here's my 10 gallon tank right here. This pothos plant right here was in my filter until recently. I just recently took it out because I noticed that it wasn't really growing. So I took it out and it's now just, you know, just sitting inside the tank. Um, I don't have anything in here. I just, or any fish, I don't have any fish in here. But yeah, I decided to take that one out. And then if we take a look at my 20 gallon, we'll notice the same thing um, I have the pothos in the filter and as you can see it just didn't grow that big so I'm pretty sure I'm going to just go ahead and take that pothos out of the filter and probably use one of those black suction cups to stick it on the glass just like how I did in my 15 gallon and I think it probably should do better outside of the filter now when it comes to talking about the impact that pothos has on the water quality of an aquarium it's not like a magical solution to your water quality problems it can be used in addition to a fully cycled good aquarium filter but it won't magically solve your problems if you do have poor water quality. Your aquarium filter will still be doing the vast majority of the work, 
but hopefully the pothos will help lower your nitrates a bit. In my experience over the past seven months, if you want your pothos to have a significant impact in your aquarium, you really need to have a ton of it. Before I started recording this video today, I went ahead and did a 30% water change, and then I went ahead and tested my water and check it out. And by the way, I just wanna mention really quick, we do have an ammonia reading. It's at 0.5, and I'm pretty sure that's just because I just did a water change, and the water that comes out of our tap has an ammonia reading of uh, one parts per million. So that's why we have a little bit of an ammonia reading right now. The filter still needs to um, process that, I guess. But um, yeah, check out my nitrates over here. We still are getting a pretty high nitrate reading even after a water change. We're at like 40 parts per million. I know it looks a little bit darker on the camera, but it's about um, 40 parts per million. Usually I like them to be under 40 parts per million. So as you can see, I still have kind of high nitrates and I'm guessing the pot those probably isn't making a huge difference because this was pretty typical for sometimes um, even before I had the pothos. This tank always just kind of had higher nitrates and the reason that I think it does is because I have a bunch of plants in here like Anubias, Java Fern, um, Crested Java Fern, and a lot of people will say that aquarium plants will help improve your water quality, but if you have a low-tech tank like mine with like Java Fern or Anubias, those plants will not help improve your water quality. In fact, they will actually make it worse because what happens is that in a low-tech tank like this, um, occasionally, you know, you'll have like a leaf starting to decay or part of the plant, you know, breaks off and it starts to decay or something like that. And that actually adds more ammonia to your tank. And in addition to that, these plants are also very slow growing. So they're not actually pulling much nutrients from the water at all. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be just about it for this update. Um, just to summarize things really quick, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is Pothos is great. We saw a lot of growth in the pothos over the past seven months. I think it looks pretty cool, but I don't think that it's a replacement for a filter. It's good to have it in addition to a filter. It does have the potential to help improve your water quality. However, in my experience, I haven't seen a huge improvement yet. Maybe it's just because I don't have enough of it growing yet. And if you do want plants that help improve your water quality, you're going to want to look for fast growing plants. Java Fern and Anubias won't do you any good in a low-tech tank like the one that I have. But I think those plants do look pretty cool and I do like them. I just don't keep them for the purpose of improving my water quality. And just really quick guys, I do have a couple shout outs for this video. I have a shout out for Samir Deshmuk. Thank you so much Samir for the support. I have a shout out for Vertigo117. Vertigo117 actually just built a new pool pond so I strongly encourage you to check out his channel. He just made a new pool pond. I'll go ahead and link his channel down in the description below. And I have a shout out for Hope Stubbs. Thank you so much, Hope, for the support. I really appreciate that. And if any of you would like a shout out in my next fish video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo, and I will shout you out in next Friday's fish video. And of course, guys, if you guys did like this video or if it helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notifications button. I upload new fish videos every Friday. I call it Fish Fridays. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I also upload a bunch of different kinds of content to my YouTube channel. So I strongly encourage you to check it out. Maybe I have some other stuff on there that you might be interested in. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.